I haven't done bench presses in bed in a long time, in quite a while. Um, but, you know, the bed is really soft and cushiony, so I wanted to give it a try again and see how it was. Um, but then at the same time when it's soft and cushiony, then I was really concerned about the springs and and how how strong the strings the springs were going to be because I didn't I really didn't want to screw up my back. I was thinking because on the floor I can arch my back a little bit and I can pop my chest out a little bit. So because whenever you I think whenever you pop your chest out, then it makes it so that you don't screw up your back as easily. Um, but I, I wanted to get a decent workout of my of my shoulders and my arms and my chest, um, the upper chest. And but I, I I thought maybe I would try it in bed again. So anyway, um, I'm using quite a bit of uh, dumbbell weight. For me, it is it's quite a bit. Um, for you, it might not be very much. Um, but I noticed that whenever I do put the, uh, I do, I did put my wheelchair, <coughs> I did put my wheelchair cushion behind me. Then I was getting more of a workout of my shoulder muscles, of uh, my shoulders, my my top of my pecs. If you see the top of my pecs, then then the uh, the muscles are are kind of um, straining, I guess. I, I don't know how you say it um, so it's the top of the chest it's getting quite a bit of workout and I did I, I thought well maybe I would you know because I did six sets of at least 22 repetitions and the last set I did like 30 38 repetitions because uh, I wanted to see how far I could push myself but I'm a I was really afraid that if I push myself too hard then I might rate, wrote, uh, might uh, injure myself, uh, tear a rotator cuff or something like that. I don't know what it is, how you tear it, but uh, I just didn't want it to happen.